Hi, Poetry Fam. Someone asked me the other day how and when I fell in love with poetry. So today I'd like to tell you that story and also share the poem that knocked me sideways and took me hostage. Obviously, I was introduced to poetry in school, but during those years, we were only taught poetry written by white people, the likes of Shakespeare and Robert Frost, and in Afrikaans, Sia Ye, Langenwoven, and Tuishas, and all those people. Although I liked the language, the rhythms, and the rhymes, I could not relate to their work on an emotional level, so I just let it go. Then one day, I was in my final year of school. I was listening to radio and the song came on. It had no lyrics, just a catchy tune, and it had this refrain that went like this. Ayakaka, ayakaka, ayakuku, ayakaka. And then this black woman's voice would come on and she would recite this poem. I was blown away. I was like, what is that? I had to have it. I wrote down the name of the band, and that very week I went to the CD stores in my hometown looking for their album. They were called Buckshot La Funk. I couldn't even spell it, but I didn't care. I couldn't find the album anywhere, but every time I was in town, I would go around looking for it until eventually I found it. Okay, I rushed home, opened the cover, and I devoured the booklet, and there I saw the name of this poet that they were collaborating with, and it was none other than Maya Angelou. We didn't have cell phones and Google and the internet at the time, so I wrote her name down and went to the library. Luckily, they had her first book in store, but it wasn't a poetry book. It's entitled, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, and it's her first installment of her memoirs. But later on, I found her collections of poetry, and I found this poem that I just fell in love with, okay? It's entitled, the cage bird, and today I would like to share it with you. So here it goes. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still, and his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees and the fat worms waiting on the dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own. But a cage bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful troll of things unknown but longed for still, and his tune is heard on a distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. Today I know why this poem resonated so strongly with me. It's because I was that cage bird longing for and singing of freedom.